pussy calls me. And when the nigga start hating, that's when the nigga lost me. Fantastical, that's what the hoes call me. Mazuma TV, and I'm back with some more boxing news. All right, guys, shout out to ESPN uh, Español. You know what I'm saying? ESPN Spanish. And uh, boxing scene for this for uh, their articles that they had put it out. You know what I'm saying? My dad told me that this is at least three days old, but I, I'm not able to read Spanish that well. So uh, the boxing scene article came out today, and I was able to see it, you know. And um, shout out to Felix Verdejo. Uh, doing his thing, he's getting ready for his Terry, Terry Flanagan fight, but this time he's uh, making some changes in uh, his training camp location, because uh, if you've been watching Felix Verde Verdejo, he has been struggling in his uh, recent fights, you know, uh, he fought, I don't even know these guys' names, honestly, man, uh, but he's he, he's gotten unanimous decisions over them when he should have been knocking them out, you know what I'm saying? And um, he struggled in his last fight towards the end, which I was really shocked by. And um, I was upset, you know what I'm saying? I was disappointed because I expect a lot more out of uh, Felix, you know what I'm saying? I really expect the the best out of him because uh, he's supposed to be Puerto Rico's uh, next Tito Trinidad. Not in comparison to style, but just being the man of the people and uh, building up victories, you know what I'm saying? And eventually becoming a world champion, you know what I'm saying? Um <clears throat> but uh, according to Bob Arum, you know, you know, because Felix is signed with top rank, uh, he's going to Big Bear, man. He's going to Big Bear, and he's going to be training with Abel Sanchez to get ready for his Terry Flanagan fight. Uh, when I when I heard, as soon as I read this, I was like, damn, that's a really really good move by Bob Arum and Felix Verdejo. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because. No disrespect to uh, Verdejo's trainer, Ricky, but I feel like he did as much as he could with Ricky. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he wasn't progressing as much. And I felt like uh, although he had his motorcycle injury, uh, he had a lot of road rash. He had to wait for that to recover, so he had a long layoff. Then before that, he hurt his hand. Uh, I think it was either before or after the fight with Ivan Nahara. Um, all of those things going on, man, um, I feel like he just wasn't progressing at all, you know, and I just feel like sometimes, uh, when you just, I think you just grow apart from trainers sometimes, that doesn't happen to everybody, you know, it really doesn't happen to, no, to everybody, but sometimes it gets like that, where you have to move on and learn things from other people, you know, that's probably what Tim Bradley went through with Joel Diaz, and he had to go to Teddy Atlas, you know, and uh, a lot, lots of fighters, uh, they, they like to move from trainer to trainer. It's just how it is sometimes, you know. But uh, I think Abel Sanchez is the is the is the more experienced trainer, and he could probably show him some things, you know. Uh, he has Gennady Golovkin, Sullivan Barrera. He has some solid fighters in his camp, and um, Alex Felix. Felix to the camp, man, it's a, it's a pretty good move by Abel Sanchez. And I want to see uh, what will change with Verdejo. But a lot of people are saying that it doesn't really have too much to do with his training. A lot of people says it has to do with the distractions that are in Puerto Rico. And uh, Ricky maybe isn't um, willing to, to relocate, you know. I don't know what's really going on. They say there's a lot of distractions out there in Puerto Rico. They like to party and uh, go motorcycle ride and all this shit. But uh, going to Big Bear would definitely get his mind right, keep him focused. And uh, he got this this title fight coming up, man. So let's see what how he does against Terry Flanagan. I hope he becomes victorious because I would love to see another Puerto Rican champion. Y'all let me know what y'all guys think about Felix Verdejo's situation. This is Mazuma TV. Subscribe to your boy. And I'm out.